now let's continue a little bit. Well, we'll talk about uh, the relationship between diffusion and the so-called diffusion coefficient and so-called mobility. We're going to relate diffusion coefficient and mobility together. Okay, and um, to do that, to get a so-called Einstein relationship, we're going to view the diffusion and see if it is also driven by a driving force. The diffusion, we now can view diffusion not only by concentration, by, remember in the beginning we said it's driven fundamentally by chemical potential. Okay, and drift velocity. Drift velocity is how fast a species on average move. How fast? Velocity means it has a unit of what? Meter per second. Okay, how fast uh, these species would move if it's driven by a chemical potential? Mathematically, or from physics point of view, the intrinsic, which means uh, the Brownian motion, with respect to your moving lattice, is related to the drift velocity. Drift velocity, the flux and drift velocity is related by this relationship. The total flux per area, how, how per area per unit time, how many atoms move or species move, is this relationship. Drift velocity, how fast each of the species move times what? Concentration. Let's check the unit. What's the unit of V? Meter per second. What's the unit of C? Remember if we said it's number density. It's number of atoms or molecule per meter to the power of three. And we have meter at here, right, at V term. So cancel out the net unit on the right hand side would be number per, we have V, second per meter square, which is the same unit as flux. So the flow of atoms B, we would view it as another way to, okay, how fast each of the species go times the concentration. We kind of used this same relationship when we were dealing with the Darkens equation, the velocity one. So the velocity, from driving force point of view, from what you learn in physics, the driving force point of view, the velocity quite often we are going to write as a so-called mobility, M for mobility. Which mobility? Mobility of subscript B for the B atom, okay? times mu for chemical potential with respect to location. Of course, I'm using x prime means the moving interface. Okay. And I put a negative sign, which means it's going towards along the direction that the chemical potential is decreasing. Make sense? If it's increasing, positive gradient is moving the backward. Make sense? I have the negative sign here. And now I change from x prime to x. Moving interface versus the the original uh, coordinate. It's the same. That's our mobility term, right? Mobility, m for mobility and velocity. As a result, we can rewrite the flux equation. The intrinsic flux due to Brownian motion, due to this chemical potential gradient, J would be what? V times CB, right? That's our top equation. The flux is how fast each species move times how many there are per unit volume. That's the still that equation. Now we're going to replace V with what? Consider middle one. We're going to replace the velocity, the drift velocity with mobility times the chemical potential gradient. Don't forget the negative sign, right? So now we are going from flux is drift velocity 
times concentration, and we replace drift velocity with mo so-called mobility times the chemical potential gradient. And then we are going to combine what did we do between here and here. We linked M, mobility, and the concentration together, and we leave the chemical potential gradient uh, at the end. Okay? Then this is what we have. The mobility, sorry, the flux is this relationship. And if we know the chemical potential for B, that's what you learn in thermodynamics. Chemical potential for B would be chemical potential and see if it is standard state, quite often pure, plus the RT per molar uh, ln A, A for so-called uh, activity, right? The chemical potential relates to activity. And then the activity, quite often, we would uh, rewrite it as activity times the molar fraction. Activity for dilute solution or for ideal solution, quite often activity equals the molar fraction. If it's not, that will be so-called gamma. What is gamma term? Activity coefficient, right? That's what you learn in thermodynamics. Then, because of this, because of this, chemical potential is given as chemical potential in standard state, quite often pure, plus RT ln molar fraction times activity coefficient. Because of this, we rewrite chemical potential, standard state, plus RT ln XP concentration term, plus RT ln gamma term, activity coefficient term. And then the diffusion flux, J, would be what? We are going to do partial differential of what? Chemical potential with respect to location. Okay, how did we do that? Chemical potential with respect to location, we rewrite. And what did we do? From here to here, we insert molar fraction here, right? We put one in the denominator, we put one in the nominator. Of course, they can cancel out. And then, this mathematically, I'll just write the last, sorry, the first term, the chemical potential with respect to molar fraction, chemical potential with respect to molar fraction, which is for this one, we do uh, partial derivative with respect to xb. The first term drops to, remember it's this relationship. The first term, if we do, become zero, right? The second term, rt, put in the front, ln, natural log of xb become one over xb. The third term, rt, we still did still put it in the front, and the partial derivative of ln, ln gamma b, with respect to xp. You see my point? And then that's one more manipulation. We put this xp into the common denominator. Of course, xp times this one is one, my one over xp. And then here, because I put it here, I put xb down here. Make sense? Oh, this flips up and they will cancel. And from here to here is I keep one. Rt xb don't change. One still goes to one. And the nominator is partial. Actually, it's this term, ln gamma b, well, the denominator now becomes ln xp, okay? That's for the first term. And similarly, if we consider Ca plus Cb, which is the total number density is a constant, total number density is a constant, then the so-called second term, 
x b, the molar fraction of b with respect to location, we rewrite what is x b. x b is c b divided by c a plus c b. And c a plus c b is what we call c0, which is constant. We put it in the front, and this becomes our concentration gradient with respect to the location. OK? Let's for now stop here. OK, so we'll continue from here. This is what we have, one term, which is the partial differential of chemical potential with respect to molar fraction of the atoms that we are interested. The second term would be the partial differential of molar fraction with respect to location or x, small x. Okay? And then the so-called intrinsic diffusion no flux. Intrinsic means due to the pure Brownian motion, flux of my so-called solute B, which means it's very little B in pre pretty, pretty much A, right? Okay? This is what we have. The flux is now mobility times concentration times chemical potential with respect to molar fraction times molar fraction with respect to location or distance. Okay, now let's put the number, put the terms in. This one from here, okay, second part here, okay. And then, of course, we are going to do some mathematical manipulation. What did we do? We put MB, we keep it in the front. RT, we put it in the front, right? And uh, here, times XB, we put it here. And CB, in the initially beginning, we put it here. Now we put it in the numerator. And CA plus CB, we put it uh, in the denominator and then what I will bracket one plus the partial differential of long natural log term times the partial differential of concentration with respect to location okay that's just the mathematical manipulation and then what can we do do you see this CB over CA plus CB is just a XB so we write it here right and then everything else we keep the same. And now we are going to cancel XP. Make sense? This is what we are going to have. The so-called intrinsic flux of B solute atom would be mobility times gas constant temperature a one plus this partial differential term times concentration gradient. Make sense? Okay. So this is what we have, the JB term. And then if we compare this with fixed first law, but only for intrinsic diffusion. Intrinsic diffusion, which means you are sitting on that, uh, hypothetically on that moving lattice plane pure Brownian motion. How do we write it? We're going to write it as JB equals diffusion coefficient, intrinsic diffusion coefficient, with which we don't know the number yet, times the concentration gradient. Okay? If we compare these, what are we going to have? We're going to have something about uh, the relationship between DB for intrinsic diffusion coefficient random with respect to mb4 m4 mobility for the same species this is what we're going to have okay db the so-called intrinsic diffusion coefficient if there is a concentration gradient and as a result resulting a chemical potential gradient it's going to cause the atoms move randomly, but then there's a direction to go. We describe it, it's related to the mobility and these terms, 
okay this is a very important uh, relationship because mobility is quite often you can measure in uh, electronic fashion okay it's the same number that is driven by chemical potential is the same number by electrical field okay and then for so-called ideal solution ideal solution which means the activity coefficient is always one the activity would equal to the molar fraction or for very dilute very dilute one it's going to be constant whether it's positive deviation negative deviation but gamma is a constant may not be one but it's a constant okay dilute which means xp goes to zero or ideal gamma b in all of these would be constant and if gamma b is a constant long gamma b is also a constant and of course if long gamma b is a constant we do this partial differential would be a constant which means if you do partial differential it's zero make sense okay and uh, if in that case for dilute our ideal solution condition our d intrinsic diffusion coefficient would just be equal to mobility times r times t okay mobility this is the important relationship sometimes people call it einstein relationship that relates diffusion diffusion a random working type of process with mobility with a process that, that is driven by electrical field by chemical potential Okay.